Welcome back to Key Talk Media. This is your host, Key Talk. Check it out, man. All right. I'm going to give a shout out to the notification gang, Key Talk Gang. Give it a read of the same thing for rocking with me every single video. If you listen to my voice right now, go ahead and like the video and hit the notification so you get a notification every single time I drop a video. Any. So an alleged YSL gang member, I want to say alleged, but he actually did take the stand and he actually admitted to being, you know, talking about a part of the YSL gang. And he also said that, you know, talking about he's defending himself against a murder right now. Now, he is saying he didn't commit the murders. But he also said that he did call for hits on witnesses, you know what I'm talking about? And then he also said he was groomed as a kid, you know what I'm talking about, by the street gang to do the stuff that he's doing, like murders and stuff like that. Anyways, now everybody knows that the inner city black communities are at war with each other, you know what I'm talking about? And the war is so deep within all the inner city black wars that it's not even just the fact of it's just the adults, you know what I'm talking about, going at it. But also it's the kids that's actually even inside of school that's turning each other into packs and stuff like that and this guy that took the stand as a part of YSL pretty much you know he's just saying hey this is why the action that I got is because you know somebody as a kid I was groomed to be like this anyways the official report from the news said a Fulton County jury found a gang member guilty in the shooting death of a father outside a local country club. Channel 2's Tom Jones was inside the Fulton County courthouse as the judge read the verdict against Jaden Myrick. Uh, and then I guess the guy named is Christian Broder is the guy that actually got killed. Christian Broder was waiting on an Uber with his family and friends outside of the Capital City Country Club at Brookhaven in northeast Atlanta. When he was shot in a 2018, he later died from his injuries. Myrick, then 17, faced more than a dozen charges, including felony murder, aggravated assault, gang activity, and armed robbery. During his testimony, Myrick admitted that he ordered hits on witnesses, but insisted he did not commit the murder. The jury found him guilty on all counts, sentencing expected later Thursday morning or afternoon. Anyways, now with this confession by this guy pretty much saying that he was a part of the YSL and also was threatening the witnesses, even within his own particular case, that even there's a, a chance that that wouldn't even involved with the YSL, Rico, which it could have been because he's part of it. Anyways, the thing about this, you know, this doesn't look good on Young Thug and this decreases the chances of Young Thug actually being able to get out on any type of bun and also gun as well. You know, like they said, they done took away all the charges off of Gunner, but they're still deciding to keep him pretty much saying that he could be a threat to the community. Pretty much all of them with money, you know, so once they're associated with the YSL, which they're calling the gang, if you got money in you inside of there, you're definitely one of the big fish that they want to keep anyways. So people are taking a stand from YSL, you know, some of that other Woody guy already took it as well. When I take the stand, but he actually, you know, somebody did some cooperating within, uh, you know, talking to them people. Let me know some coming down below. Let me know what you think about this entire deal.